Hi, so in this video we just want to share some tips about working with a contractor. Uh, whether you work with our company or whether you work with a different company, these are important tips that you should be aware of uh, so that uh, you know you can have a good experience working with a contractor um, because I think uh, my opinion is that um, that's probably the number one tip is make sure that you're comfortable with this contractor that they inspire some confidence in you you know make you feel uh, you know confident that you're gonna have a good experience with them part part of that is um, you you know not feeling pressured to get the uh, you know the roofing job done with them I think it's um, uh, partly of you know that they're offering you good products that are you know uh, in line with what your budget is I think uh, that's probably the number one is that you just feel feel comfortable and confident with that roofing contractor and, you know that little kind of voice in the back of your head something's telling you that, that something's not right necessarily with this uh, with this contractor you might want to listen to that there are some uh, situations that are uh, not good, you know, in term, terms of uh, certain contractors and potentially the, the number one problem is uh, when contractors ask for money up front. Um, I've always been a little nervous when I hear that uh, because I've just heard uh, too many stories of uh, contractors taking the money and not doing the work. You know, it's that simple. So um, I think uh, one, one important tip is to work with a contractor who's willing to get paid uh, at least partially when you start the job and uh, not before anything's done like the materials are delivered like before the work's even started you know our company takes the first payment when we start the job so the materials are there the crew is there they're literally tearing off the roof and then we ask for the first payment but even that first payment is just a partial payment it's not for the, the whole roof we don't get paid uh, the rest of the money until the job is 100% completed. We also work with insurance companies, so uh, by the time the insurance pays, it's three, four weeks after we've done the job. So um, that gives you a little extra security as far as uh, you know when you make that first payment. There's still more funds coming, and if the job's not completed by the time the rest of the funds come, then you have you know uh, some kind of recourse as far as like holding back some money until all of the um, project is completed. So that's uh, another, I think, major tip on working with a contractor. I think uh, one of the second major thing is working with someone who is a local. Um, that's very important because when we uh, get a hailstorm in our area, um, a lot of people come from out of state. And one of the first things people from out of state start doing is they tell you that they can, uh, they can like waive your deductible and not have you pay the deductible. And so uh, when, when people kind of meet with you and right out of the gate, they say, you know, uh, we'll waive your deductible or, you know, um, just not pay the deductible. And uh, that could be a, a little bit of a red flag because when you, um, n when you don't pay the deductible, uh, you know, that means the budget for the roofing job has been reduced. And when the budget for the roofing job has been reduced, there's p the potential for some corners to get cut. And uh, you know we've seen some pretty uh, bad situations that we've gone to fix where the corners are cut. Um, for example, uh, you know the underlayment is just a very low quality underlayment. Uh, so the underlayment is what goes underneath the shingles. So the shingles are important, obviously extremely important. But the what goes under the shingles, the underlayment is is also very important. Uh, that can actually, if you don't have good underlayment, it can lead to roof leaks. I think it's important to definitely um, work with someone who's local. So when working with a contractor, um, it's important that uh, you know you're aware of the amount of your deductible and uh, and you know that you have to pay your deductible. So uh, you know with our company, there's definitely options around the deductible. For example, using financing, um, you know, or potentially using uh, doing a payment plan. We can do a payment plan in house. That's probably the best way to go. Um, However, a lot of people don't know that sometimes you can even use insurance funds themselves to cover the cost of the deductible. For example, uh, let's pretend that you have a storage shed that was damaged by hail, but you don't didn't even know that it was it was damaged by hail, and the insurance paid you let's just say a thousand dollars to re to replace that storage shed, and uh, you didn't really um, want to replace it or care to replace it. So that's a thousand dollars that you can use to do whatever you want with. And sometimes uh, people choose to use those funds to pay their deductible. So um, a lot of times people aren't aware of that. And 
I think it kind of goes with working with a contractor that you trust and that you feel confident in um, because uh, a contractor who will take the time to explain things to you in a very uh, clear way and to be very transparent with everything and who will uh, you know, go through the insurance estimate with you line by line if necessary and just make sure that you understand um, you know, what's going on. That is a, is a good contractor that I would recommend. So again, if you don't use us, make sure you use someone like that who is willing to go through and explain things to you in a very transparent way. Uh, one huge thing is to make sure you get an impact resistant roof. Okay, being in Colorado it just does not make sense to not have an impact resistant roof. So if I could, uh, you know, convey the most important message is, you know, make sure you uh, ask whoever contractor you're working with to give you an impact resistant roof. Um, if you have to pay more for it, great, pay more for it. Um, with us, we, uh, we give everybody uh, at minimum a class three impact resistant roof, no additional charge. And so, you know, everyone with us gets an impact resistant roof and uh, we don't charge anything extra for the class three. So that's extremely important. However, it's not a huge cost. If they're gonna charge you, um, you know, $500 or $1,000 for an impact resistant roof upgrade, I would just pay it because it will avoid uh, impact resistant roofing um, does hold up to hail much better than non impact resistant. So uh, in Colorado, we get so much hail and so much wind and the elements are very extreme that it just does not make sense to not have an impact resistant roof. So uh, that's the one thing I would really just plead with you is uh, whoever the contractor is and make sure uh, they're getting you an impact resistant roof and make sure that um, it is a malarkey roof, in my opinion, because malarkey roofing does hold up the best to hail damage. So um, that's going to do it for our video on uh, tips and tricks. We hope that you enjoy this uh, free download, and feel free to reach out to us if you have any more questions. Thank you. Have a great day.